Rivers by one, coming out of the timeout. 4.25 to play. Jordan! Oh, my goodness! A swiveling Skywalker! They got my partner a little bit excited. Backdoor, 360. Oh, George hanging before he throws it down. I would think that would inspire you a little bit if you're a teammate. They're rushing some of the shots, Mark. Rushing. A little lack of confidence at times. And... Oh, Kawhi Leonard! Largest lead of the night. Timeout, Toronto. Grown man finish. Mama. There goes that man. Armed with all the information tonight. <laughs> Towns leaves it short. Here we go. You're all clear, kid. George! Oh! Who knew he was Dutch? Goes for the windmill! The third. Uh, the flying Dutchman. Is that what you're saying right now? Oh, to Rick Smith back in the day. PG looking in his midseason form right here with the throwdown. I might have a I might have a date with the Stanley Cup coming up here in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Also, the national championship game was just played down. Oh, posterizes the entire Denver team. Wow, we are talking about some football in here. Whose baby is that? Somebody get that little Arizona baby out the street. How is that not an and one? I like you, Zeke, but man. George to Williams, open for three, left it fly. It is short, 42% on the year from distance. George from the wing to the lane. To the Counted out a foul. Kind of like Shea Gilgis Alexander does. He got between the two defenders before the rotation came by Williams. He's thrown it down and gets fouled. Chance for the three-point play. A nuanced nuisance for the Pacers, making life challenging just to get the ball across half court. George sheds his defender, takes it to the house. I'm not sure they're prepared to do that. But they, they, they got enough talent, they can win a series. George goes inside and pounds it down. As we approach the final two minutes here in Phoenix. Leonard maintains his feet, puts it down. That was nasty. And we talked about the ABA days when he was coaching the Kentucky Spurs. We see PG stick the arm in, the steal. And the emphasis at the end. Who knew he was Dutch? The windmill by George. It's the interception, the steal, off to the races. A little showtime right here for Paul George. Ah, uh, remember those days. You remember those days. And we've seen it in the Golden State Sacramento series a lot. As we get another turnover, Ooh. Leonard with a great steal oh, and down man. to the dunk. Oh. Booker and KD and. What a matchup here. And this is vintage Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard, a very, very difficult guy. Ten points is nothing in today's NBA. George drives. George! Two-handed jam! Paul George here on the drive. Gobert does not come to help. Murray. Gets to the foul line, loses the ball. George on the breakaway, splits a pair of defenders and powers it in with a right hand. You see the ability to zigzag off of that. Here comes the steal. Paul George getting control. And four to shoot for the Pistons. Bay. Nothing to lost. George interception. He's got Bay to beat to the house. Flushes it in. Being he said, Paul George makes it happen. Trying to cross over, Reggie bothered him enough to let Paul George come from behind and finish with a slam dunk. To Reggie, and Reggie with one dribble right to Luke in a corner for a deep three. Reggie back to Kawhi, and he punches it in. Turn it over. The Clips have an opportunity to get out and run, and Kawhi gives it up. Reggie gives it right back, and that's a fast break, two man, two perfection. And there's Kawhi finishing above the rim. We don't really see because of injuries in that lineup. They haven't really played together to exploit that, and they're 12 to 7. 
Kawhi with the punch. Powell with the feed. Starts with the defense. You're going to see the dunk at the end, but the defense has sparked a lot of... Let's get inside. Of... AI's got to get out of the way. <laughs> Paul George rocks the rim. My ankle is so stiff. I just couldn't imagine going out there, but you warmed it up and you got out there and you played. And that was filthy. Paul George with the dunk. Cabana. Oh my gosh, do it. We're here. Yeah. Uh, Paul George. George, by the way, four of six so far in this first quarter with 11 points and three assists. Clippers back the other way. Jackson with Leonard riding shotgun. Feeds it ahead for the flush. Kawhi punches it in. Timeout, New York. Run a fast break. Why out in front? Beautiful pass by Reggie Jackson. Raptors looking to push. Pass stolen by Terrence Mann. Mann ahead to George. George crossover inside and the finish. Terrence Mann. Throw ahead. See the crossover. One, two step. It's all the way to the cup. Over the contest of Scotty Barnes. Tells him mind his business. Barrett down the lane. Rebound goes to George. You can tell the energy has picked up. Here comes George the other way. Look, look out below! Kawhi Leonard! You see PG looking up. He sees Kawhi running that left lane. Just lays it out there and tells Kawhi, go get it, big fella. And he does and finishes on top of quickly. Bain straight on three. And Leonard the rebound. Clippers with a chance to regain the lead. Leonard drives inside the flush, and the Clippers back on top. In transition, coast to coast, we talked about the Clippers' awful defense. This is bad defense by the Memphis Grizzlies, building no wall, allowing Wyland to get into the seams, attack the rim, and go coast to coast. And how about the big guy? If you open, shoot the basketball, so it's a welcome sight to see guys step in rhythm with confidence. George! Kind of looked for an opening, found it, and then throw it down. Paul George making plays. Again, probing off the pick and roll, getting the defense on his heels, seeing an angle, and then turning the corner. He's exceptional. No fouls coming for New York. Kawhi splits a pair of defenders. Cut and a south claw spike puts the candles on the cake for the Clippers. Out in front by 11. PG able to split the two defenders and get to the rim. Nobody there at home. He averaged 28 points, seven rebounds, four assists, shot 50% from the field, and was 10 for 23 from above the arc. And now a south close spike for Kawhi. He has 27. The Clippers, you see Kawhi Leonard spin, turn, change hands. Lefty, I think you said claw dog. But the Clippers have had a fairly easy schedule against teams that are struggling. That's not going to be the case. Deflection, interception, make us proud. Oh, ho Cocks it back and flushes it in. Paul George signs his autograph on the game. Back to downtown Los Angeles, putting on a show. Continues to be the problem against the Thunder. 21 second chance points for Oklahoma City. George dashing down the lane, punching it in with the right hand. Over three from the three-point line, but able to split the defense and go up. Ampart in the corner. And he bottled up by Leonard. Yeah, he was starting to stumble. Give me back to him. Give me back to him. And coming down, you can see McConnell trying to figure out where the ball was going. And Leonard just... Leonard, swing, return feed. Leonard! to the hole. Kawhi may not do it often, but when he does it, he makes a point of it, able to get downhill. Tobias Harris really didn't want a piece of that. Friday and Sunday, and they'll have a couple of home games. Man, knocks it away, recovers, gives it to George, who throws it down. LeBron James made it hard on man. They get the ex execution exactly how he likes it. Clippers seven turnovers. Leonard to the cup with the flush. Go back first and look at Kawhi when he turns that corner, sees the alley, and working at building that body up. George motors to midcourt and beyond. Look out below. And Paul George takes flight here in Toronto. This is where you have to square the guy up when he's coming out. Paul George, that time with that high.
high middle pick and roll. And that's a good thing about starting it up so high if you get those defenders spread out.